Setting up home Wi-Fi might be a nightmare to some if you don't know exactly what you're doing. In reality, it's quite a simple process and in today's video, I will walk you through how to do just that. Hey guys, Ash here from Full Tech Journey by C4 Retech and let's get started. FTJ is new and needs your love, so go on, ring that damn bell. So there are three things that you need before you get started. Number one, a wired internet connection. Number two, you need a router which has Wi-Fi. And number three, a computer with an ethernet port. So most of you probably already know what an ethernet port looks like, but here's one just in case. So what do we do next? Well, the first step is to connect the router to a power outlet. Once you've done that, make sure you connect the cable that comes from your internet service provider into this port. Now, if you have a fiber connection, you will get something like this from your provider and that will have an ethernet port. So run a cable from that ethernet port to the WAN port. Once done, we are gonna connect the PC or laptop to the Wi-Fi router using an ethernet cable. Now an ethernet cable most of the times is included with the router. So connect one end to one of the other ports on the router, the ones labeled LAN, and the other end to your PC or laptop. So once done with some routers, the moment you open a browser like Edge or Chrome, it will take you to the router's homepage. In case it doesn't, then just try typing in 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.2.1 and one of these three would work. So how would you know it worked? Well, the one that works will cause you to see something like this pop up once you hit enter. Generally, the username would be admin and the password would be admin or password. Again, this would be on the sticker or card or the manual, so you can check that out. Uh, most of the times, these default uh, usernames and passwords would work. Now, once you get in and hit enter, this is the WAN setting screen. Sometimes your router will auto fetch the details required or there would be an automatically connect option. So just save it and just try opening up a web page. Then you can skip ahead to the next step. If it doesn't, then you have to call up your ISP and they can provide you with the necessary details to fill into these boxes. The rest, leave them as they are, just save. Open up a web page and there you go, we have established wired internet connectivity. For the next step, we move on to the Wi-Fi settings page. Yes, yours might look a little different, but it will more or less be similar. Now here are the things to look out for. Wireless SSID. This is the name that pops up when you search for internet on your phone or laptop. Next, you have to set up a password for your network. And I'd say when it comes to choosing an encryption, go with WPA or WPA2. Then make sure the wireless radios are active and hit save. Now just select the SSID, the one that you created right now uh, from your phone, use the password you created and voila, you have wireless internet working perfectly. Bonus tip, if you live somewhere that has a lot of Wi-Fi networks, like a multi-story apartment, you might find that sometimes your speed is quite slow despite getting good signal strength from the router. Here is a trick that might help you in that situation. Download the Wi-Fi Analyzer app from the Play Store and find out if your Wi-Fi network is overlapping with any other networks. Then you can go and change the Wi-Fi channel to one that is empty. Like we see here that eight is empty, so we can go in and change to that. Now that's a basic rundown on how to set up your own home internet and Wi-Fi connection. If you have any networking related queries, leave them in the comments below. And also do tell us via the comments if we should do more of these router access point or otherwise networking related videos. So I guess that's it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Ring that bell, please. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt. Share it if you can. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching FTJ by C4 Retech and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.